time for another round of Gadget Scope. Now, in the past, we've taken a look at some GPS units, but this one, which we're about to look at, has a decidedly Malaysian twist. What am I talking about? Let's find out together. Ah. GPS. Now, there's a lot of them out there, but none of them are really, really, really tailored for Malaysia perfectly. That's where the PowerMap Z9 steps into place. It's a software which can be put onto different hardware, so we've actually got two here for demonstration. One which is inbuilt into the car we're driving, and the other one which is the portable unit, which is a little bit faster, I might add. Now, the difference is, really is, for Malaysians. There's a whole bunch of point of interest which are Malaysian and there's a group of engineers here from the company who constantly update and adds a very, very, very Malaysian flavor. You could have stuff like mamas, you could have stuff like pasamalams, all inbuilt into that. Now you won't find that elsewhere because those are big companies. This one allows you to be truly Malaysian. Let's see how it is though. We'll go to a true landmark which is KLCC or the Petronas Towers. All right. So since I got two, we can use both, which is a little bit weird. Okay, so when I go to KLCC, that's fine. So I'm gonna do it on both at the same time. Now, the portable one is a lot faster. It's really, really, really fast, I might add. Let's find a point of interest. And we'll do the same on the other one. Now, what's really cool is, you can select which state, first of all. And even then, once you've done this state, you can go into a subcategory. For example, we'll go to Kuala Lumpur. See, we've got Putrajaya there as well, but we don't want to go to Putrajaya, we want to stay in KL. Now, departmental store, let's see what we got. Avenue K. I think we we'll just straight to Isatan, how about that? We'll go to the other one as well, Kuala Lumpur. We have it. Now we just have to click go. As easy as that, yes. It shows you step by step. Now, if I was stuck, I could actually press something and it can switch the view for me as well as in the way it's facing. It's gliding me the right way so far and they're both identical. Now, as you can see there, it's got the usual 3D imaging so you can see exactly which road you need to take. Now, other cool things here would be using your photos. You could take a picture of your iPhone geotagging, which will put the exact coordinates of where you took the picture. Now this becomes useful because you can upload it onto your computer, JPEG format, plug it into here, which is the inbuilt one, which has a little card slot there. And what it can do is store the picture there and also direct you there. If you can use the geotagging feature, it's as easy as that. Other cool things would be the inbuilt point of interest, which also uses pictures. Now what's really, really awesome about that is that not only has pictures, you can put three for one location, but it can give you information, say a hotel uh, in any state. It'll give you how many stars it is, it'll give you a brief overview, it'll have some pictures, other things like restaurants and other point of interest. Now all of this is constantly updated, so everything I'm telling you, they'll keep adding more and more features, which is really, really useful. Still going the right way? Yes, yes it is, still routing me correctly. Taking me on a very, Yep, that's correct. I am going to stay in the left lane. Let's keep on going. It's good. It's giving me all the steps I need in advance, so I'm well prepared. It's smooth so far. Now, the next map update for this will include stuff like Pasamalam, but not only how to get there, Will include all the information that you need. Not all Pasar Malam is open every day, correct? All of that equals a very, very Malaysian flavored GPS unit. I don't think anyone's ever used that phrase before, but I just did. And it's true. I can tell you right now the software is good, just be sure you get the correct hardware. Now, rerouting very fast. The moment I take a turn which isn't on there, it will reroute to the next available turn off or another road or something. Here we go. Right there, straight ahead. Isatan. 
That still guiding me the correct way, which is excellent. Giving me the speed, which is accurate, I might add. I am doing 31 kilometers per hour, and that is at 32 now. Done, dude. And we are at a stun. Guided me here perfectly. Nice and easy. I didn't even have to input this time. I just did a point of interest search for a department source. All in all, I have to say it's really good. And with the promise of more and more updates and with a localized team actually developing content for this, making sure it's up to date, I think it's awesome. The Power Map Z9, very Malaysian, and it's great if you're going to be in the country driving a lot, I have to say. Two thumbs up, just make sure you get the correct hardware.